What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the vlog. That's right, we're back with another weekly vlog. You guys are, well, some of you guys are actually, actually getting more and more views on these. I appreciate that, you guys. I really freaking do. So, all else fails, you guys can always hit me up on any of the social medias that I am on top of. I provide those in every single link down in the description, and it's up there in my banner on top. You can always hit me up on any of those social medias if you want us to try and get, try and uh, give me anything to put on in, in these vlogs to talk about. Otherwise, I'm just gonna keep ranting, ranting and raving about random crap. So, all that being said, today we are gonna be talking about uh, Warcraft. I don't know what I did there, but you guys will definitely know. <laughs> I'll definitely know what I'm gonna do today. But we're gonna be talking about the wonderful world of Warcraft. Now, we're not we're not talking about World of Warcraft. We're just talking about the old school, original, classic strategy games of Warcraft off the PC. Now, I grew up playing Warcraft 3, as you guys have noticed from last Sunday, that I posted Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos, the prologue chapter. I'm going to be doing more of those. That's going to be a full series because I love playing that game to bits. I don't know how much of the gameplay you guys are going to see because I know some of those campaigns get really long. But I might just do a mission in each one. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. But all those fails, we're going to be talking about each and every one of them. Some of these are going to be shorter than others because some I've never played myself. So, first thing we're going to talk about is... BOW! Warcraft! Orcs and Humans, the first one. The first one that starts the entire franchise and the entire entire chain from Blizzard. Um, again, I've never actually played this myself. I mean, I've seen... I think my uncle played a little bit of it. I think I did... No, wait, I did play. Or was that the second one? I don't remember. I either played this one or the second one on my computer when my uncle gave me my computer for... Well, uh, I'm not going to go into details about that. Let's just say my uncle had my computer for a while. He finally gave it back, and he gave me Warcraft or Warcraft 2. I can't remember which one it was. And that's... It didn't get me started on it, it's just because he gave me that one because I could. it would not run Warcraft 3, which is the one I really, really like. But, like I say, it, it, orcs versus humans, I'm orcs and humans, I'm guaranteeing it's only got two races to choose from, and that's probably orcs and humans from the entire, from the entire deal, similar, which goes back toward the movie. The movie, I believe, takes place during this exact same time period of Warcraft, orcs and humans, because that's all there is. Or it could take place between, and two... But I am Warcraft. Warcraft 2. Tides of dark darkness. But again, I'm not really sure exactly how it goes. They might actually begin put both Warcraft 1 and 2 in there. Because I believe in the movie Warcraft, as everyone has seen by now, that Duratan is. He's the lead orc of the Frostwolf clan or something like that, I believe. Um, so, all that being said, it's just. I just realized how wide I am with that open, so there we go. I didn't want to load. There we go, that's better. But yeah, Duratan was the head of uh, the Frostwolf clan, and he ended up dying. Again, spoilers if you guys haven't seen, haven't seen Warcraft, the movie. But again, we're not talking about the movie, we're talking about the games. Boop, boop. I hope I got both of them up on screen somewhere around there. But anyway. <sighs> Anyway, uh, those games, I mean, like I say, it was either one or two that I started with on my old school desktop back when I was in, like, ninth grade or 8th grade? Yeah, it was ninth grade. But, yeah, they're really fun. I didn't play much of the campaign. I just dicked around with the quick play element, and that's how I do a lot of things anyway. I just mess around with the quick play element. And then, when I finally got a computer that had enough memory and enough megabytes and stuff like that, I was finally able to play my favorite of all... Book of Three Reign of Chaos, where you play as one of the main protagonists is Thrall, son of Duratan. Again, then it clicked on me when I was doing that episode for you guys on the channel of Thrall being Duratan's son, and that is nuts because I even thought that in the movie that Thrall was the child, but I don't think. Again, I don't really know. I don't know. I'm not saying this for certain. Don't quote me on any of this because I haven't actually played the first one or the second one. I probably find them an emulator and play at least a little bit of it. I might look around and I might put those on on the channel just to put just to say I have at least Warcraft one and two and I have played them. But at this moment of making this vlog, I have not played Warcraft one or Warcraft two. I, I have played a little bit of one, but I've never played the actual story in the campaign, so I don't know for sure. All that being said, I love Warcraft three to pieces mainly because. It was one of the main thing, like the first like multiplayer type format that I played on a private network. Because, like I said in the video, uh, my uncle had it, and he had two computers. He had one in his main house and one in the second his computer room house thing that he was going to combine the two houses. He don't live there no more. And now it's some other random people living down there. But he had he had two trailers back to back, and he had his own private server connected 
between the two. So I would, he would be in, oh no, he had three computers. He had three computers hooked up and we'd all fight each other. Between him, myself, and my cousin Julie, uh, we'd all fight each other on the, on the same server. Granted, my uncle always usually won because he was just better at it than I was, but it was just a lot of fun back in the day, and that's one of the main things I love playing about video games is because it helps you escape from reality, it helps you forget some of your problems, and you're able to escape into a fantasy realm. And like in Warcraft 3, you've got, you can be orcs, you can be humans, you can be night elves, you can be the undead, you can, there's so many choices of stuff you can be and choose. Granted, I like some races better than others. It's not a racial thing to be exact. It's just the fact that they're easier to play as, I guess. But yeah, I mean, I love Warcraft 3 because the graphics look phenomenal for an old school game for like that. Uh, the strategy is really decent. You actually have to, you do have to think. And this is the first actual computer game that I ever actually looked online and found cheats for. And I have used those cheats in the video when I played the quick, the bonus content. <laughs> And that's just because I was running out of time. If I didn't have had more time, I would just push it out and see if I could survive. But I didn't have time. I was running low on time, so I just went ahead and used the cheats just so I could wipe them out and finish the episode. But again, that's just the bonus content. I wouldn't, I'm not doing that in the main campaign. If I lose in the main campaign, I lose in the main campaign. I'm going to have to start back over from scratch. It's going to make it more difficult because those cheats are so easy to know and they're so easy to type in and they're so fun because then you literally one shot kill everybody because you have god mode on you're just like ah ah so much fucking fun you can't do that online obviously because the that's literally cheating the system and if someone has the god mode on and it kind of defeats the defeats the purpose of fighting each other but yeah and this also opens up a gigantic deal a lot of this stuff in Warcraft 3 explains a lot of War World of Warcraft. Again, we're going to follow World of Warcraft in a different vlog. We're not talking about that one in this one because it has so many, uh, so many expansions. If I've looked them up and I put them around here somewhere, how many expansions does World of Warcraft have? Whoosh. Okay. But again, if there's nothing there, then I just clap for no reason. But, <laughs> but yeah, I mean... Following Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos is, of course, an, the first expansion that I ever actually got, and that was War, Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne, which is the expansion set, like, expansion set, there it is right there, but yeah, which is the expansion set, 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 not set, set, which is the expansion, ex, I can't fucking talk today, expansion set of Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos, obviously, because it's Warcraft 3 The Frozen Throne, but again, a lot of things take place here that make a lot of sense, that fills in a lot of gaps. That way, if, you've, if a lot of you guys have played World of Warcraft, you guys know of some of this lore already, but you probably never actually went back and played Warcraft 3. My friend from a long time ago, his name is Jordan Menez, and he was he's a great guy, he's a detective now, and as far as I know, he's still a detective. And he's got wonderful kids, he spends all of his time with his family, He, I hardly ever hear from him, but I still count him as a friend, because myself, friendship means friends till the end. And it's not the end. We're not dead yet, so he's still my friend. So, <laughs> getting off of that tangent, I'm going to get out of here, Arthas. Bye-bye. Uh, do whatever animation I can find to get you out of here. But, <laughs> but yeah, it exp explains, explains a lot. And I actually also pointed that out to him when he would play World of Warcraft. All the stuff that happened in Warcraft 3. And when I was talking about in Frozen Throne, how it makes sense because it fills in those gaps. And he'd look at me like he doesn't know what I'm talking about because he never played Warcraft 3. So... Again, I was just going to talk about these random games because I love it's 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 growing from the first Warcraft as you guys saw from just the the picture that I posted up to Warcraft Three or Frozen Throne, whichever side I'm doing it. Can I put them down here or something like that? I'll try and set up where you can see my face. Put them like about this big or so and just like line up the line up the shots. Like boom, 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 boom. It should be one of them. One, two, three. Yeah, it should be four of them. It should be four of them right about here, right? Somewhere right there. Yeah, make them do like some weird animations or something like that but yeah these four games are what started they got this franchise this blizzard did awesome when they made these games because it made people want to buy when world of warcraft came out a lot of people were waiting for it and were ready for it because they knew the lore from these four games technically three and a half because this one over here i think i don't know how it's transitioning so whichever side frozen throne is on <laughs> So whichever side Frozen Throne is on, that was the last one out of the actual, like, single-player campaign-wise type of deal. As far as I know, I mean, I think there is a storyline in World of Warcraft when I played it myself. 
I do have a level 20 or level 24 druid class night elf, I believe, and I grind it like crazy to get there. I can't do it right now because I don't have the money to be able to play. But I mean, it is free up to level 20. But my character is past level 20, so I can't play as my character. I can start a new character, but I don't have the memory or the processing. I probably have the processing speed. My internet's not fast enough to be able to keep up with online multiplayer games, as you guys have seen in Destiny and all the other online games that I've played for the channel. <coughs> not to mention that I'm not going to stop playing online games. I'm still going to play whether the ping allows me or whether I have data or whatever. I'm still going to play some online games for you guys when I get my PlayStation Network account back. But that might probably not happen for a while. <laughs> but yeah, I just wanted to cover these four games at least in this vlog because they are amazing games. I mean, I assume that one and two are great games because three made it was such an awesome game. The storyline was fantastic. The graphics were great for the strat for the type of platform that it was on at the time. I mean, it's not like World of Warcraft now or a lot of things that computers can do now. But okay, you guys can get here now. But it's nothing like the games that we have nowadays from what computers used to be able to do to what they can now is amazing like stuff like they're playing destiny on compute on desktops and laptops they're playing uh, overwatch all these other high processing games with such beautiful graphics how do you think we got there you guys we got there from games like Blizzard coming out with Warcraft and Warcraft 2 and 3 and Frozen Throne and even World of Warcraft. That just laid down those pave stones. I mean, I know there's probably other games that were out at the same time. I hear Starcraft was like it. I've never played it myself, so I'm not going to talk about Starcraft. I don't have the funds to be able to get Starcraft. I might talk Diablo later on because I did play Diablo 2. I do have Lord of, Lord of Darkness around here somewhere. And I have, I've I've played Diablo 3 at least once. I don't know if I ever actually put it up on the channel. I might have scrapped it because it was so laggy. But I don't remember but yeah you guys i mean all those fails i rate this game excessively high i mean out of let's say out of five i rated a good four and a half out of five freaking hands no i rate it four out of five peace signs because i do a lot of peace stuff so <laughs> that's what i rate this game at There's, these games are just so phenomenal that if you have the chance or you have the opportunity to play it online or anything even just a little level or a teaser or something like that i'd check it out because the sound design is amazing. The graphics are awesome for the get for the time of game the game came out in. The storyline is so good. I hope you guys do watch some of these videos and you do enjoy my Warcraft 3 videos that I'm going to put out for you guys because I know I'm going to cover at least the storyline. I mean, I'm going to keep the cinematics. I actually had to look up the cinematics because for some reason every time I download every time I download the game, it bugs out and none of the cinematics work. It's just black screen. Like I was saying in the video, it's like, I don't know what you guys saw, but all I saw was a black screen and heard audio. I looked online and found all the cinematics. I recorded them. I broke them down into the individual deals they are, so I have every single cinematic ready for when a cinematic comes up, you guys will see it, and you guys don't have to look it up. I already did all that for you. <laughs> so, um, like I said, that's really all I wanted to talk, about, talk to you guys about in this video. Um, uh, I didn't put up anything for this week for any kind of ideas because I knew I knew what I wanted to talk about. I wanted to talk about games for this video, and one of the games that was iconic for me was Warcraft Three. So I figured I went and just call just 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 do one Warcraft game, and I will do a World of Warcraft video eventually. Eventually, when I get probably a decent desktop desktop tower and I have memory and processing speed to be able to handle it, I will be bringing you guys some World of Warcraft videos. So just bear with me on that. I'm gonna have at least one episode up where I dick around as a random class. Just I will play the free version at first because I can't afford to play as my level 20 something character. I'm just gonna play as something random. I might do a poll, see what you guys want to see, whether it be human, undead, or whatever, whether you want me to do alliance or horde. I don't know yet, but like I said, just keep an eye out for that because when that post comes up, when that not post poll when that poll comes up it'll either pop up up here somewhere in youtube or it'll pop up on twitter or it'll pop up on facebook or it'll pop up on facebook twitter and here and i might just do all three and then do one more from those three because there's so many classes to choose from i'd love to be able to do as however many that i said that world of warcraft has but i've only got up to miss of pandera that's as high as i've gotten i can't afford to get the other expansions i wish i could i'd love to get up fully current and play it because I hear so much good things about it. And World of Warcraft is such an amazing game, and 
Uh, like I said, I'm not going to bog this video down with talking about World of Warcraft because I can go on about that right off the bat, but I'm not going to. Uh, videos are going to be kind of coming in interestingly at different times because I do have deals that are possibly going to push me back. I've got stuff that's coming up. My son's birthday is coming up this Saturday, so <laughs> I'm trying to, like I say, I, like I do every every day I record, I do bulk recordings. So you guys see me in the same outfit for several days in a row. That's not because I just don't change clothes. That's just because I bulk record. I do two or three videos a day. Today I'm only going to be doing one or two. So after this I'm probably going to do something, I don't know what yet, I might just do at least a 15 minute deal for Fly, Flash Game Friday. So. All that being said, you guys, I hope you guys are getting a kick ass on these vlogs. You're going to learning a little bit more about myself as a person. And like I say, if you guys want anything to be shown in these videos, don't be afraid to post them in the comments. Don't be afraid to hit me up on Twitter. Don't be afraid to hit me up on Facebook or Tumblr or whatever. Send me a message. I don't care if it's a private message. I don't care if it's just a Facebook message. I don't care if it's a direct message. I don't care if you just post it on my wall. It's just say something. Like I noticed earlier today, or last night, I looked up my analytics just to check on it and I saw that I lost a subscriber. I have 20 subscribers instead of 21 subscribers. I'm no longer Blackjack. <laughs> but that's no big deal. But, but what I think about when I see that I lose a subscriber, it's because I'm not posting what they want to see, so they left. And uh, what I think about that is how am I supposed to know what you guys want to see if you don't put nothing? If you don't say anything, I don't know what I'm doing wrong. You guys have to be outspoken. I can't read your minds, especially if you're on the other side of the country. Especially if you're like a few towns away, you're a few cities away, you're on the North Pole, the South Pole, whatever. It's kind of hard for me to put out content that you guys are going to like and enjoy. If you don't say nothing, put it in the comments down below. And reach out on social media. I'm not a bad guy, you guys. I don't care what you guys see if you guys do any kind of research or if you look me up on Facebook and you see what I did in the past. It's not who defines me. One mistake is not what makes a person. It's who they are inside. And you guys are seeing that I'm just a wonderful guy who loves to laugh, who loves to play these awesome games for you guys. I mean, I'm in the big, I'm big in the furry fandom. I love to be in the furry community, but I don't have the means of the funds. I was trying to make a fursuit at one point, but then it kind of fell through because I don't have the time to do it. In the future, maybe? Yes, I'd love to be able to do stuff like that for you guys. I'd love to see you guys at conventions. I'd love to see you guys at cons, but I can't do that right now because I'm so low on the totem pole. But the only way we can get me up to that level is if you guys help me out by sharing my videos. And I see a lot of you guys up on Tumblr and on Twitter, a few people on Facebook, not very many, but you guys are actually starting seeing a trend. You guys are starting to share my videos, and thank you all for that. That really does help. You guys have no idea how much that helps. Even if nobody actually, I mean, <laughs> I find it kind of funny that people like my stuff on Tumblr, but I look at my analytics and no one's watched it. But again, I know when you guys hit that like button, <laughs> it pops up on your feed and then other people that you know still see it so it's similar to sharing but it's not the same but either way it's still getting my videos out there and this is one of the biggest things that I have a problem with in life is opening up to people I have such a big problem with it I mean I don't, I don't think it's a phobia I don't think it's a disorder a disease or whatever I just have this big problem with opening up to people and it's just because I grew up a weird way I grew up with a freaking wonderful family so I don't know why I say a weird way but I grew up really weird for being in the family that I'm in and that affected me socially I mean I'd rather be by myself than hang out with people and I'm a social outcast and I'm fine with that I'm trying to bring break myself out of that shell I'm trying to reach out I'm trying to make more friends I'm trying all this new stuff that terrifies the crap out of me and actually kind of depresses me on occasion but I'm trying, you guys. I'm not giving this up. I'm not going to give up on asking you guys for help. I'm not, I mean, it bugs me to ask people for help. That's one of the main things I have because what I believe in the world is if you want something done right, you just got to do it yourself. Don't count on nobody. But again, I'm trying to reach out on YouTube. I'm trying to reach out to you guys. I'm trying to make a community because I see what fantastic things these other communities are doing and I want to be a part of that, not just as a community member for them, but I want to start my own community and help out, branch out, help out all these people. And then maybe one day I might be doing some interesting stuff with either Jacksepticeye or Markiplier, Dashy Games, PewDiePie, 
and all these big people who are a big inspiration in me. I watch all their videos all the time and they're fantastic. They're such great people and I want to meet them in person. I'm not asking you guys to send me to go see them. That'd be cool if you're good, but I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I want to work my way up to their level. And if any of you guys that I forementioned happen to see this video, I love you guys to pieces. You guys are wonderful guys. You guys just keep up doing what you're doing. Even if I never climb that social ladder and I never make it that high, I'm never going to quit. So I'm never going to quit. I'm never going to stop. You guys are never going to stop seeing me on YouTube. My videos might become late. My videos might get lagged or delayed. All that stuff. It does not matter. I'm going to have tons and tons of videos on YouTube until finally I find the right ones in the right way, my right style of making this happen. So, if you guys have any other ideas of things I need to try, again, put that in the comments down below. I will not be mad if you guys, I am good with criticism. As long as it's not like, oh, you're a big blankety blank and you suck a big blank. Stuff like that, obviously, is not going to get posted in the comments. Because if you guys are immediately just trying to troll, those aren't going to post. But if they're actual constructive criticism, I will allow them to be posted through. I do see everything that comes up before it comes up. I have to okay the comment so I will see your guys comments my phone will let me know when you guys comment that way I can see it immediately so that way I know what you guys want to see again I'm not just doing this for myself I'm doing this for my son I'm doing this for you guys out there all you guys that want to have a random laugh all you guys that want to see someone do something stupid that you want to try but you don't think you want to try it until you see someone else do it first I mean yeah I can sit here and say I want to be like Jacksepticeye or I want to be like Markiplier or I want to be like the Game Grumps, or I want to be like PewDiePie. Yeah, I'd love to have their fan base, but I'm not going to try and be like them. I slip up every now and then, and I almost do Jack's outro, but that's just because I'm so used to doing it with him, watching his videos. Or I do some things like Markiplier every now and then. That's because I watch a lot of Markiplier. So, I mean, I don't watch enough PewDiePie. I do watch a few PewDiePie videos, but not enough. Game Grumps, I kind of sort of watch on occasion if they pop up with the, with all the other guys I watch. But there's so many. And the main one that got it all started up, if I can find that shot of him, can we please put it up here, right here? The main person who got me into YouTube is Dashy Games. And after that, everything spiraled. I started watching more and more. I got into watching Jack, and from my cousin Julie, she pointed him out to me. And then from Jack, I've found Mark. From Mark, I found... Wade and everybody else, Bob, Wade, Mark, everybody. I found everybody out all because of Dashy and his Happy Wheels videos. Those are what got me hooked on YouTube to begin with. And if I would have known that I could be getting paid for doing this, I would have started this a long time ago. I would not have just thought this platform just to be a stupid, pointless, bullshit crap that just random losers do. That they're not making no money, they're just wasting time. I didn't know. So I enlightened myself, I looked it up, I found out all the information, and I was just thrown back. I know this turned from a game review to a personal blog, vlog, but either way, and it's going a lot longer than I was expecting, but uh, this is just what happens when I get on a tangent. But all that being said, you guys, thank you all very much for all your support that you have given me, and all the support that you guys are planning on giving me, because making my son's life better is what I want to do, and doing 9 to 5 jobs... I'm so miserable, I'm so just dreading going to work, but I have to make a living. And because of the bullshit that happened to me in the past, I can't get a job as easy as I used to. So it makes it very difficult, we're stretched really tight right now, and it really sucks, but my wife is very supportive, my mom not so much, my wife is very supportive, you guys. And her, her channel's down below too, she has a beautiful singing voice, if you guys want to go check, peep her out and get a kick out of her beautiful voice. She's one of the most beautiful women in the world, and she backs me up 110%, and I do the same for her. So, oh, I'm actually getting emotional in this vlog. I didn't even mean for that to happen. But all that being said, you guys, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up, because this has gone on way too longer than I was expecting it to. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, if you guys want to see anything, put it down in the comments down below. If you guys want to see me on, just say anything on social media, just put it up on my wall or mention me or something like that. I'll see it, and then... I'll more than likely talk about it in the vlog, and I'll put your post up here, and I'll give you props. I might do some random shout-outs to you if you want me to, or if you don't want me to shout-out to you, I'll, blop, I'll bleep out your name and just read the comment or stuff like that. I want to do stuff like this for you guys. 
Vlogs terrify the crap out of me, but I make it a point for at least once a week to sit down in front of this camera. I don't worry about pulling the sheet. I don't worry about what's behind me because I don't care. I just want to talk about talk to you guys as a person, as sitting in my bedroom, just bullshitting with my friends and my fellow people on the internet. So you guys are wonderful. That's, I'm not going to get over that because I see all the. <laughs> Every, every day, every, almost every day now, for the past three days in a row, I've posted a video and immediately Twitter, someone on Twitter and someone on Tumblr hearts it immediately, and that is just amazing. I mean, I don't know whether they're just going to watch it later or they're just doing that to help me out. It doesn't matter. Either way, it makes me feel good. Either they're just thumb, they're just liking it for the thumbnail that I made, or they're liking it because they enjoyed the video, or they just want to help me out because they understand it's hard to struggle. I do know some other YouTubers other than the big ones that I mentioned like Monkey Ninja Games. My wife introduced me to him because he he followed her on Twitter and then I followed him on Twitter and found out he was a YouTuber. And then we talk every now and then. I, he's a badass guy and he's really funny. <laughs> but I can't stress enough how amazing you guys are because all of us on YouTube wouldn't be nowhere without you guys. Whether it's the small guys like us, or the big guys like PewDiePie, or even if there's anybody higher than him, I don't know, I gave up on looking at PewDiePie because he's got millions of subscribers. But, all that being said, you guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I've talked your ears off enough, I've gotten a little bit emotional and didn't expect it. <laughs> so, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. You guys have been fantastic, you guys are wonderful. Don't worry about much, I'm just fine. I'm still going to be here on YouTube no matter what happens. Whether I have a job or not, you guys are getting videos. So all that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next video, and peace. Bye, guys.